how important are linguists to the war effort? Well, my first take is it's still utterly shameful that we're still in this situation. Um, that people like Mohammed are still placed in this invidious position. If we stay at a political, managerial level, it must be common sense that if you want to achieve in a foreign country, you must have a policy to look after the glue that holds it together, mm. namely the local employed people, and that they must, they must have a lifeline if and when we finally withdraw. My own family, my father, my brother, they are receiving intimidation, phone calls, letters, I myself, I was receiving intimidation calls and letters. There was no day since I was uh, working from uh, 2008, because uh, till 2007, I had a backup story that uh, I'm working with the NGOs as a computer operator. Uh, that backup story was blown up, because they, they, they found out that I was working for the, the, the soldiers, and that's how I got injured, till uh, June 2011. I continued my job, uh, but unfortunately because of the risk to myself and my family, I had to quit that job and uh, flee my country and uh, I came here and seek asylum. We are taking a legal challenge to what we see as a legal failure to put in place a proper settlement package for people like Mohammed and people who find themselves at risk in Afghanistan because of the work they've done for us. We're arguing um, that the government has a legal duty to provide the Afghan interpreters with the same package of care and the same settlement package they provided to the Iraqi interpreters. And surely Afghanistan needs people like you to, to help to stabilise and make that future, doesn't it? Yes, I agree to that point. However, I can only bring a change or a difference if I'm alive. And presently our government is not capable of providing us the security. We end up eventually getting people on the ground in Syria or Libya or somewhere else. You have to ask yourself, who would really want to step up and be an interpreter or a locally employed person knowing that the British, unlike the Americans, the Canadians or the Danes, we don't really take our interpreters with us when we go. It's a shame that we are still in that situation. Mm -hmm.